Hey guys, do you want to know how to print a metal part from a regular MDM or SSA printer? Then stay tuned. My name is Saro. Welcome to Day 3 Defined. There is a great development in the 3D printing industry from BASF Chemical Industry. They made an innovative filament for the production of great steel parts which can print from SSF 3D printer. If you don't know what is SSF 3D printer, then click on this i button or there is a link down the description box. Let me give you a small brief of BASF. BASF is a German-based chemical company and the largest chemical producer in the world. The BASF Group company subsidiaries and joint ventures in more than 80 countries and operates 6 integrated production sites and 390 other production sites in Europe, Asia, Australia, America and Africa. Its headquarter is located in Germany. BASF has customers in over 190 countries and supplies products to a wide variety of industries. Despite its size and global presence, BSF has received relatively little public attention since it was abandoned manufacturing and selling BSF based branded consumer electronic products in the 90s. Now let's get into the detail of this very innovative filament. BSF 3D Printing Solutions launched an innovative metal polymer composite for fused filament fabrication 3D printer into the market. It enables safe, simple and cost efficient production of fully metal parts for prototypes, metal tooling and functional metal parts in the simplest 3D printing process. After the subsequent industry standard debinding and sintering, the final 3D printed part is 316L stainless steel. FSF refers to a 3D printing process in which parts are built up layer by layer from a moldable material originally limited to thermoplastics. Ultraswift 316L, a metal filament with a polymer content, uses the same process. First, a suitable 3D printer builds a part layer by layer with the polymer content of the filament acting as a binder. The main polymer content, the so-called green part, is removed in a catalytic dividing process. The result of this process is a brown part, which consists of pure metal particles and a residual binder. The subsequent sintering process at temperatures right below the melting temperature of the metal removes the secondary binder from the brown part and causes the metal particles to coalesce. The metal reaches its final properties post sintering, for example with regard to hardness and strength. The metal content in the high 90% range and the even distribution of the metal within the binder matrix reduces the risk of defects and increases the success rate. Handling fine metal powders when compared to laser selective melting SLM, direct metal laser sintering DMLS and direct metal deposition DMT and binder jetting. The new metal composite filament is highly flexible and strong. Ultra 6 316L can be used with both powder and direct drive extruders and can be guided through complex filament transport systems. So where this filament can be used or what is its application? Metal polymer composite filament to produce metal components in a stainless steel type 316L using a standard FFF printer system and subsequently an industry standard debinding and sintering process. The filament has a non-slip surface allowing its application into any bowden or direct drive extruder. Typical applications are tooling, jig fixture, series production, functional parts and prototypes. More information standards about the filaments are right here and also the filament properties. So now the question is which printer should I use with the Ultrafuse 316L? Well, open material fused filament fabrication printers to help you succeed in 3D printing metal parts they provide printer processing guidelines, including Ultrafuse 316L, parameter sets. In addition, consultancy and on-site support are also available. And also, here are 3D printing processing parameters and general properties. Well, this news was very exciting as now we can directly start printing metal parts. So what are you waiting for? Go and start printing metal. And if you want your object or design to be 3D printed, there is a link down the description box. Please go and check it out. Thank you for watching and keep printing.